due to interest, money has a time value. But another way, money work today is worth more than money tomorrow. It's important to understand the basics of time value of money math, both for your own personal finances, it has wide application, and also in business. So let's consider a very simple example. You have $1,000 and you invest it for 5%. How much money do you have after a year? And how would you figure that out? After a year, you invested the original 1000 and you earned 5% interest. So you might have said, well, times 0.05 or 5% gives you $50. And you add that back to the original 1000 and you now have $1,050. So how would we express that as a formula? In finance, we say future value is equal to your present value times one plus your rate. And that's all we've done in the formula. $1,000 times one plus the rate, which is 0.05, gives us how much money we have after a year. What about after two years? Well, in the real world, interest is always compounded. So we get 5% on the original 1000 but we also get 5% on the additional $50. So we do the same thing again, but starting with 1050 So 1050 times 1.05, after two years, we have $1,102.50. That's the power of compound interest. So after one year, we have $1,050. If I could earn 5%, if 5% is my discount rate, then I'm indifferent between $1,000 today and $1,050 in one year, $1,102.50 in two years. So how could we make that into a generic formula? What did we do? Well, we took our starting value of 1,000, we multiplied it by 1.05, and multiplied it by 1.05 again. Anything times itself is you can, if you multiply any number by itself, you can express that as an exponent. So one plus r times one plus r would be the same as one plus r squared, or more generically, one plus r to the power of t. t is time. If we rearrange that formula using simple algebra, present value is equal to your future value over one plus r um, to the power of t. If we look more generically at all the different variables in this equation, t, or n as your calculator states it, is the number of periods or the time. It's not always expressed annually, which is why we don't say necessarily say number of years, but if it is an annual question, that would be your number of years. r, sometimes expressed as i or iy, is your interest rate that you get per period. And when you're entering into your calculator, you, accept, you express it as a percentage in the formula decimal calculator percentage. PV is your present value. I like to call it your starting value. Payment we'll deal with later. Future value is the value that you finish with. The reason I like to say starting and finishing value is sometimes a question might be in the past. If I invested $1,000 a year ago, how much would I have today? 1050 at 5%. So $1,000 is what I started with a year ago. That's my present value. Future value is what I have today. That's my finishing value. So let's take a look at that same question, but we will plug it into our calculator this time. First thing that you always do is you define your variables. If you're having trouble with a question, the first thing I'll ask is, have you defined your variables? You will almost always know something. So plug in what you know. Don't try to tackle it all at once. Just take one piece at a time. What do I know here? Well, it's $1,000 and it's 5%. So I'm starting with $1,000. It's my present value. My interest rate is 5. Again, not 0 0.05, but 5. N, from the previous question, we know it was two years. Payment for the time being, we're always going to enter. And your future value is what you are trying to compute. 
So if we take a look at the BA2 plus calculator, we see all five of the keys here. So if you're ever struggling trying to remember what are my five variables, just look at your calculator, third row from the top. When you're doing a time value question, we're actually going to do it backwards. We enter the number, then we press the key. So we've already defined everything here. We press 2 for n, 5 for iy, $1,000 for present value, 0 for payment. And then we press the CPT key, or compute, for future value. $1,102.50, the exact same as we got with the formula.